Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use this really cool NPM package called Native Fire. And with Native Fire you can build native apps just out of any website. So if you built a website and you're like, hey, wouldn't that be cool if this was a native app for Windows or Mac? Well, if you install this package, you can go ahead and create a native app from any website. So let's go ahead and get started. If we Google Native Fire, or I'll also include a link below the video, but then you should land on this page, which is the NPM page for Native Fire. So if I scroll down here, it kind of gives instructions on how to use it. And what we want to do is we want to copy this installer. So if I copy this and I open up a new terminal and I paste this in, it will install this globally on my machine. Now, if you receive any kind of error when trying to install it, or it doesn't even recognize the npm command, you'll need to make sure to upgrade to the latest version of Node or install Node on your machine. So you can go to nodejs.org and download the installer and install it on your machine for free. So after we have done that, then we can go ahead and open up a new tab because we want to make sure that that command's available. And we are already ready to create our native application. So I'm going to just go to the directory that I want to create this application at, and I can just say native fire, and then I can include the URL that I want to create my native app out of. So I'll just say devdojo.com. And after that has completed, I should be able to go to my desktop and open up a new folder on here. And you can see that I now have this new application right here that I can just double click on this. And then sure enough, we have our website in front of us and it looks just like our website does, but it is actually in a native application. So maybe what you could do is you could have a different message if the user is not online, you could simply display a message that says, you know, you need to be connected online in order to use the application. So let's take this a step further and let's go ahead and change the icon of our application. So to do that, we can just go ahead and right click on this and say show package contents. And then I can go inside of the contents folder. And this is built using the Electron and Electron is a, an application made by GitHub. And I'll also have a couple other videos on creating native apps with Electron. But that's essentially what is behind the hood right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up resources and you can see that I have this electron.icns. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just Google PNG to ICNS. And this website looks good here. So then I do have a PNG icon on my desktop that I want to use for the icon for my application. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload this image. And I'll click on this, click on open. And now it gives me three different sizes that I can use here. So I can go ahead and just right click on this ICNS and download this file. Then if I go ahead and open this up, and I will want to rename this to electron.icns. So I'll say electron, and then I'll go ahead and just copy and paste this over. And I can go ahead and replace that file. And now if I go back to the root folder, and let's say I move this onto my desktop. Now if I move it onto my desktop, you can see that we now have that nice icon there. I'm also gonna change the name of the application to just be Dev Dojo. And I'll rename that, and then let's go ahead and just drag it into my Applications folder. Sure enough, if I go into Applications and I go down here, you can see that we now have this icon. So you can see just how easy it is to use uh, the Native Fire NPM package to create a native application for your website or any other website. So I hope you found this video useful, and I will see you in a future video. Hey there, my name is Tony and I'm the original creator of all the videos that you've been watching on the Dev Dojo YouTube channel. And I just want to thank you for subscribing or even watching this video. And I do want to take this time to let you know about a new platform at devdojo.com. And at Dev Dojo, you can learn premium lessons, series, and videos from web development, web design, and even tech in general. So I would encourage you to check it out and maybe subscribe to check out some of the premium videos, courses, and series.